guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how i make my vermicelli now this is a very requested recipe and it is one of my absolute favorites back in guyana this is it's kind of like a dessert and it is super yummy and amazing now to get started here are the ingredients i will be using i have here some super fine vermicelli they call it angel hair and I'll be using some sweetened condensed milk in place of sugar. I have some evaporated milk, some heavy whipping cream. I have some regular whole milk and for my spices I'll be using two cinnamon sticks, some cloves, star anise, nutmeg and some vanilla extract. So here in a large pot I will now add my whole milk and my evaporated milk. I will also add all of the spices except the nutmeg. I will let this all come up to a boil. So after thinking things over, I decided to go with another brand of vermicelli because this is more of the kind that I am used to. The other one was too fine for me and I wasn't feeling too right in my soul about it. So now I will use this and first i'll go in with two tablespoons of butter i will allow the butter to melt so now we will add our vermicelli and this process is called the parching process we want some of the vermicelli to become golden brown so we'll move it around in the pan constantly until it changes color. So if you look closely, you could see some of the vermicelli are looking brown. And that's exactly what we are looking for. We don't want all of it to become golden brown, just some of it. And now we can move on to the next step. So next. We will add the vermicelli to our simmering pot of milk and we will give this a good stir and allow it to cook until the vermicelli becomes tender. So after about 15 minutes, this is how the vermicelli is looking. We will allow this to simmer some more and let it reduce a bit. So this is now almost done. And this is the part where we will add our finishing touches. We will add our heavy whipping cream. We will add the vanilla extract. We will add the sweetened condensed milk. And this part is totally optional. But I will be adding some mixed dry fruit. And lastly, we will add our grated nutmeg. We will mix well and let it simmer for about five more minutes. So this is it you guys. This is the finished product of my super delicious, rich and flavorful vermicelli. I will now plate this up and I'll be back with the yummy yummy product. Okay guys, so this is my version of a super delicious, rich and flavorful vermicelli. I do hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will leave all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!